I have returned. Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, yeah, so I, uh, I have been gone for a little bit. Not that you guys would notice because there's only 20, ooh, 21 of you that have subscribed. But for those 21 of you, thank you for the, uh, the love and the support. And yes, I want to get back to creating content. I've been out of it for about a month, I want to say. Uh, I haven't been making anything. I haven't been filming anything, primarily because this past month has been absolutely chaotic. We are we've been in the process of moving. We moved to a new home, so we and we actually overlapped with our rent. So we still had our old place and we had the new place, and we're like moving stuff over. This has been a whole month of just you know gradually bringing our stuff over, and. It's crazy to, you know, you don't realize how much stuff you own. It, you don't really know it. You don't notice it until you make a move like this. You have to actually, you know, physically transport all of your belongings. And it, it is really eye-opening. You know, there's, there's a whole movement of people downsizing and going to a minimalist lifestyle. And I get it, man. I understand. I, I'm absolutely there with you. We, we've gotten rid of a lot of stuff but I feel like we still have a ton of stuff that we probably could part with as well. Um, so yeah, that's been, that's been my, that's been my month of April. Uh, just nonstop moving, uh, just a lot of driving because of my commute to work and then coming home and having to move, stopping by the new place, dropping stuff off, going home, exhausting. I am absolutely exhausted. I'm thankful and I'm relieved that it's, you know, we're, coming to the end of this journey and this move is almost done we're finally at the new place and there's just a few loose ends to tie up at the old place and that'll be it uh, I wanted to film something I wanted to just address the, you know the subscribers all 21 20 of you 21 of you however like I said and uh, anybody else who comes across this channel uh, this is a fun diversion for me i'm not looking for any monetary gain by making these videos and you know creating content for this channel i just want to uh create videos and content of various you know various topics you know that there's no there's no real theme here it's a lifestyle channel it's just kind of you observing me a little bit it's almost like a reality show but not as you know not as in-depth you know as obviously um I, I just, uh, I was in Lowe's just now uh, and I wanted to do a video. I felt compelled to do a video because I was just thinking about how, how, how much life has changed, how, how, you know, the way that we interact in our everyday life with, um, technology and with people, you know, I was in Lowe's because I had to buy, and I'll show you guys. I didn't do a shopping vlog. I didn't do a Lowe's video today. I had to buy a new shower head for our our bathroom because the one that came in the bathroom was is terrible and uh, I also had to have some keys made which you know I could do all in one it's very convenient what I found interesting though is I went over to make the keys and I don't know if they have an actual area in the store where they make keys but there is you know a machine that will do it automatically for you you swipe a card put your key in and it cuts a key for you drops it in the slot and you're you and you're on your way I used to work for a locksmith. I used to work for a family owned business uh, back when I lived up north in the Bay Area. And I remember uh, cutting keys and doing the whole process. And I was watching the actual process take place inside the machine because there's a window where you can watch it all happen. And I remember every intricate detail of how to cut a key, how to, you know, put it inside the holder, how to, you know, how to move the key along so that the, the, uh, it actually cuts the key properly. And then this spinning brush, this metal brush that cleans off the uh, little excess metal that's on the key. I watched this machine do this entire process on its own. Key came out. It was perfect. There was, you know, it, it did the job. It was $2 a key. And I just thought, wow, I mean, this is, this is it now. I, I had zero interaction with anyone. I think I had, I asked the worker where the bathroom was. That was my total human interaction in the store. 
Uh, I went to get the keys made. Again, no human interaction. Did it all myself. Then I went to the self-checkout, which I was like, great, self-checkout, cool. Go in, scan my stuff, pay for my stuff, and I leave. I had zero interaction with any employees in there for anything related to buying anything or making something for me. Uh, and, and while that was very convenient, it does make me a little sad and a little worried for, for people who depend on, you know, these kind of jobs. Automation is quickly taking place, right? We have self checkout. There is still that element where you have to do it yourself. (laughs) There's not, there's not a robot doing it for you. Uh, but still, it removes the element of the ch- of the cashier, the checkout person, uh, and that's a little sad to think that you know people could potentially be replaced by machines. But that's the way society is moving. We have self driving cars, um, but yeah, I just it just kind of it made me think back to to that family owned business, which I think is long since gone out of business. I don't think they exist anymore, but. Yeah, I remember that place very fondly, and it was a great business, great, great ownership. Uh, I almost went into locksmith apprenticeship. I almost considered it because I was working there really just as uh, uh, doing billing for them or doing like uh, just odd jobs around the shop for them. It was a part-time job, uh, but I got into like picking locks and making keys a little bit, even though I wasn't, you know, li- I wasn't technically licensed and allowed to do that. They let me sort of learn, and I learned a lot there. And like I said, almost went into locksmith apprenticeship, almost went into that field. But I stayed in technology, stayed with computers, and that's where I am now, and uh, I'm happy. This guy came dangerously close to hitting me. That would have been, that would have made for some good views. Uh, So yeah, uh, yeah, guys, I'm sorry. This has sort of gone off on a rant. Really, it's just a channel update. I still want to come back and create content you can tell it's been a while because my beard is just like fully grown out it's ridiculous and it's itchy and it's bothering me um but yeah uh thank you for the support and love guys and continue to watch my videos it's uh i'm sort of feeling out what videos get more you know get the most views get the most attention it seems like you know the shoe reviews the two shoe reviews that i've done the fake jordans and the walmart shoes have been gangbusters they've been the most popular videos on my channel um so i'm i'm gonna probably continue doing that stuff but i still want to do the uh the family vlogs i still want to do the you know the weekly kind of day in the life kind of stuff and i want to do more stuff because i actually have a lot more stuff to film because we're in a new house and uh doing a little bit of handiwork around there and and uh, some of my ideas and yeah, it'd be really cool to do a little house tour with you guys and show you what we've done with the uh, with the new place. But yes, thank you for your subscription. I love it. It's great. It does nothing for me monetarily at this point. I doubt it. I don't think it may, may never. But that's okay. This is still a lot of fun to do. So yes, guys, uh, I wanted. I'm going to be bringing more. I'm going to be back to making videos and I'm back to the swing of things. I was in the hospital recently, but I'm okay. I'm all right. I'm alive still. Um. Yes, so that's it for this video. That's it for today's little thing, spiel. I'll throw this up on the site and you guys will see it. And maybe you'll see it, maybe you won't. But yeah, thank you for your continued support. Stay tuned for more stuff. And I hope you guys are having a good week, good month. Hope everything's been going good for you guys. Comment, like, and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later.